Uh, I am really excited today to interview Professor Surya Banerjee to discuss the mathematical economics major at the University of Waterloo. Thanks, Bill. It's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you. My name is Shujo Banerjee. Uh, I'm a, a faculty member in the Department of Statistics and Actuarial Sciences at the University of Waterloo. Thank you, Professor. Uh, my first question is: Can you please describe what mathematical economics is about? Uh, uh, mathematical economics, uh, as the sort of the name suggests has uh, two branches, economics on one side, uh, mathematics on the other. I don't think I have to sort of emphasize how important economics is to our day-to-day life, right? But if you sort of step back and think about it for a second, it's sort of countless interactions between you know, buyers and sellers and governments, etc. So this degree will help you understand a lot of, lot of those interactions, help you use, exploit some of these interactions to make profits for your businesses or improve welfare for your government or improve the stock value of your company, etc. And to do that, we need the tools of mathematics that the University of Waterloo provides. So the economics courses are offered by the arts faculty and the academic rigor and how to predict future values with more, and more certainty, etc. Those are the topics that the mathematics courses will help you achieve. So this is sort of a right balance of applications as well as theory. I think that's what the mathematics economics program is about. Thank you for your thorough answer, Professor. Uh, my next question is, what do you wish students would know before choosing mathematical economics as a major? Uh, that's actually a good question. In general, regardless of what major you are going to uh, choose. I mean, general, my general advice to students uh, would be uh, that, you know, you have to sort of enjoy the subject itself, right? That sort of should be the primary concern. Of course, things like, you know, employability and average salaries, etc., matters. But the more, the, the first thing that you have to realize is whether or not you find the subject interesting, find it enjoyable, because you have to do this for the rest of your life, professional life at least. So I always advise students, and one of the advantages of the mathematical economics program, at least as far as I'm concerned, is that it is a second year program. So the students can actually have a feel of what, look around and see what other things interest them, et cetera. And I always advise my students to take a few economics courses before they decide whether or not to jump into this program. But of course, if you find the economic world interesting and you really like to answer different questions in economics, this is a great, great major uh, to be part of. But just think, looking at employability statistics and you know financial data might not be the only way to go. That's sort of my major point, yeah. Right, thank you for the advice there. Uh, the next question is, um, what do you love about the field of economics or specifically the mathematical aspect of it? And what's exciting about this field? I think uh, I would let you, first of all, because you are much closer uh, to, uh, to the current field of economics than I am. What do you think is one of the nice things about economics? Maybe you can tell me and then I can also tell you. Sure, I guess for me, it's really twofold. Um, on one hand, you know, modern economic models attempt to capture the essence of situations and contexts, and then use rigorous mathematical tools to generate insights. I find this process interesting and often an effective way of uh, thinking things logically. Um, the models are sophisticated, but often the intuition and principles is very simple but powerful. Um, on the other hand, you know, economics is a very meaningful field because the conduct of economic policy affects everybody's welfare. And so what we are learning and researching can actually make people a lot better off. So both the analysis part and the meaningfulness of the research is what excites me. Wonderful. I couldn't have said it better, I think. And I think just to sort of extend what you just said, uh, the logic that we learn in economics, you know, that sort of, I sort of consider that as a sort of the logic of life in some sense. So you could apply the same logic that we learn in these economics courses and, and you look at the world in a different way once you sort of understand it. You know, things like, uh, why do people get married later nowadays? And why does a car lose 40% of the value the moment you drive it out of the lot, et cetera, et cetera. These questions, why is there a bee in a public urinal? 
So these are the questions you don't think of as economics questions, but there's a lot of economic insight. If you know economics, you get a lot of insight about these questions. And that insight puts you at an advantage, I think, compared to other people in the field. And you could exploit that insight, as you said, to improve welfare of your citizens or to improve profits of your company. Uh, no, that's exactly right. Right, thank you, Professor. And my last question would be, um, what types of careers can be pursued with this major? Uh, so there are, I mean, as you know, there are sort of three broad kinds of uh, fields that my students go in. Well, one of them, people like you, people who are sort of more interested in sort of these logical questions and analyzing uh, them in much more detail. Uh, those are the people who get into research and go to graduate school and get higher degrees. That's about one third of my students. And one third of my students are more into the applied side of economics. Uh, sorry, the two thirds of my students are more into the applied side of economics, out of which half of them go into the private sector, like banks and, and financial investment companies. And the remaining one third goes into the government sector, work for Revenue Canada, et cetera, as policy analysts or think tanks, et cetera. So if you want to do public policy, this is a very good degree. If you want to sort of understand, if you don't want to do research, of course, this is one of the greatest, very great degrees. But also, you could you could get the same kind of opportunities as a typical finance major, a mathematical finance major. Right. Thank you for the clear breakdown there. Um, awesome. I guess. Uh, thank you so much for your insightful answers today, and uh, I hope this session is helpful for any prospective students in the mathematical economics major. Uh, great talking to you, Professor Banerjee. It's always good to see you, Bill. I'll, hopefully, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank, thank you. you.